Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Definitely a wet Sunday morning. We've got Tropical Depression Alberta just to the southwest of us this morning. It's going to be a little bumpy ride here this morning. I'm not using the stabilizer. I don't want to get it wet out here in the rain. So I'm just hand holding the camera. But I thought I'd give everybody a look at our beach here under these conditions. Got a nice little surf kicking up out there. Barge is pretty far offshore, that barge that we've been seeing. I don't know if they took it offshore for the storm. I'm assuming they did that. Got some nice little waves rolling out there. Keeping our fingers crossed that so we don't have any more red tide come in because of this storm. I'll do a short beach walk here this morning. After, the, after Alberto passes, there's probably going to be some great shells out here. Again, I apologize. The video is going to be a bit bumpy this morning. I'm not going to use my gimbal, my stabilizer that steadies the camera. I just don't want to risk getting it wet and ruining it. Phone's supposed to be waterproof. We're going to put it to the test, the iPhone 8 Plus. Right now we're in between rain bands. Yeah, Connie, let's hope it doesn't, we, have, don't, we don't have a super high tide and wash away our sea turtle mess. I don't think that's going to happen with this storm, but you never know. What's crazy is hurricane season hasn't even officially begun yet. This isn't a hurricane. It's not even a tropical storm yet. Officially, June 1 is the beginning of hurricane season. I'm gonna walk south, just take a little walk south down the beach. Super soft here. It's hard to walk. We do have some shells, lots of shells along the beach here. I'm sure we're going to have a lot after the storm passes by us. One of the turtle nests up there on the beach. See the blue ribbons there on the left? I believe that's nest number four. I see there's seven or eight nests now on the beach. Rain all around us right now. You can check our local weather radar. Let's Google Naples weather radar, Naples, Florida weather radar. 
we're lucky now this Alberta is gonna just stay offshore I feel sorry for those poor folks in Alabama though up in the panhandle oh, they don't need this additional rain right now the wind is blowing offshore so we don't we're not dealing with any super high tides or anything but that's going to change as Alberta moves further to the north Pretty good rain band moving through now. I don't know if you can see any rain drops falling in front of the camera lens here. It's really starting to pick up. I am very surprised that Roy isn't out here. All he talks about is how he loves coming out in the rain. I'm shocked that he's not out here. It's not thundering or lightning, so it's not dangerous. Gonna walk down the beach a little further. See if anything interesting is washed up on the shore. Barely see the end of the beach up there with the rain right now. These waves are probably gonna bring some great shells on the, up onto the beach. There's a piece of a neat little worm shell there. Pretty neat. It's part of a worm shell.
Boy, lots of broken conch shells on the beach. Lots of old fighting conchs. I've seen a lot of these lately. Old worn out fighting conchs. sinking down into the sand here as I walk along. Oh boy. Here's a really nice, nice chunk of worm rock over here. Check that. Huh. The rain actually hit this, my screen and cut the live feed off. That is weird. We're back here, wait for another couple of viewers to get on here. I was just picked up a nice little piece of worm rock. I gotta be careful when I tilt the camera down now. Here's a really nice piece of worm rock that I just picked up. Very cool chunk of worm rock. That is a really nice piece of worm rock. Right, we're back here. Our signal dropped out there because of the rain. What actually happened is when I tilted the phone down, the rain hit the screen and hit the end, end live feed button. Kind of strange. So it looks like the beach walk's going to be in couple parts this morning. Let's see how long I can last out here. Just feeling the outer effects of tropical depression, Alberto. A little bit of a breeze out here, but we're getting some rain bands coming through. share this with all of our friends here. They see the beach. I want everybody to see the beach and you know, with all its different faces. You know, we see it when it's beautiful. We've seen it with the red tide. Might as well see it when there's some bad weather offshore. Again, I want everybody to keep those folks in Alabama up in the panhandle, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. They don't need any more rain up there. And it looks like this storm is headed right at them. So please think about them. Hopefully it won't get any stronger. Can you believe there's nobody else here at the beach with me? I'm shocked. I am really shocked that Roy is not out here. I totally expected to see him out here in his raincoat. That's all he kept saying. Oh, I love being out in the rain. I love it. The storms, the waves, and he's not out here. I know he was out here earlier. I figured he'd spend a couple hours out here, but oh well. He 
can see it's raining all around. Now we got a low. Not a real good connection right now. Signal's very weak, partially because of the rain. There we got a little better connection now. I was hoping these waves would have washed some nice shells up on the beach early this morning. So far, I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. I'm going to turn around and start walking north in a few minutes. I just wanted to make my way south for a little while here. I'm going to go check out one sea turtle nest up here. I don't know if we had any crawls last night, any new sea turtle crawls. As of yesterday, they were, there were seven sea turtle nests. Oh, I'm glad I kept walking. Glad I kept walking down the beach. Oh, it's got a chip in it. Still a nice one. Shark eye. Pretty good size shark eye shell. Got a little chip in it. Oh, that's still collectible. That'll go in my pocket for sure. Also called a moon shell. Here's an interesting looking slipper shell. Check this slipper shell out. It's almost round. Whoops. Almost round. Instead of that oblong shape, that slipper shell. Kind of looks like half a turtle egg. <laughs> you flip it over. See how it looks like a little slipper? That'd be somebody with short, fat feet. Short, wide feet. But it, use your imagination. It looks kind of like a little slipper. rain's let up for a little while it'll be back and the rain's just coming through in bands we're in between rain bands right now so I get to dry out a little bit that won't last for long nice little breeze blowing now I gotta be careful when I tilt the phone down. Earlier I tilted it down and the rain hit the screen and actually ended the live feed. It hit the button hard enough to actually end the live feed. Very weird. one of our loggerhead sea turtle nests right up here. This is nest number seven. I don't know if we have a number eight. That's nest number seven right there. I don't know if we had any crawls last night. I don't know if the rangers have been out here. There's loggerhead sea turtle nest number seven.
little further south. Then I'll turn around and walk back up the beach. Yeah, I'm not seeing any shells in here. Looks like we've had some more beach erosion though here. You can see this little ledge down here. Darn it. Hurricane Irma added a lot of sand to the beach and now it's been slowly washing away again. I'm gonna walk north. You can see they've taken that barge and anchored it pretty far offshore so it doesn't run aground. Sorry for the bumpy ride here, but I'm not using my stabilizer. I don't want it to get wet out here in the rain. So right now I'm between areas three and four. It's kind of the picnic area. There's a big picnic area back in behind all these trees, just behind these trees, lots of picnic tables. There's a big picnic area between parking lots three and four. There's a big cockle shell. Big hole in it. That'd be a nice one for hanging on the shell tree. Another nice shell for the shell tree. Big cockle. Not raining right now, the rain's let up. It's just coming and going. There's a nice little fighting conch. Get it before it rolls away. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice little fighting conch right there. A little baby fighting conch. Another keeper right there. Beautiful colors on it. Look at the stripes. That is a beautiful little fighting conch shell. Awesome colors. A little, couple little chips in it there along the edge, but still a gorgeous little shell. Here's that moon shell, shark eye, that I picked up a little earlier. That's a pretty nice little find. It's got a chip in it too, but still a great looking shell. I wouldn't. I definitely am going to add that to my collection of moon shells. So we will, Linda and Scott Magyar and myself, we will be selling some of these seashells that we've been picking up here at Del Norwegans. We're going to put a little group of five shells together plus one bonus shell of our choice. 
We haven't decided what the five shells are going to be yet. But we're thinking it's probably going to be a nice little scallop shell. The Florida fighting conch shell. Probably a slipper shell. Oh, I would say got to have a worm tip in there. And then some kind of bonus shell, which that will be left up to our discretion. So we'll, as soon as we figure that out, what the price is going to be, we'll get that posted. You can order your shells. So you can actually hold them in your hand while we're walking the beach. You can see what we're talking, what I'm talking about. Probably an olive shell will be in there since we see a lot of olive shells. We'll probably put an olive shell in there. Getting a weak connection. That'll hopefully our connection will strengthen here. There's a here's a scallop, piece of a scallop. That's definitely going to be one of the shells in the collection that we send. It'll be a nice scallop. Don't know what color you're going to get. No guarantees on the colors of the scallops since we have so many different color scallops. But those will be in the group, a nice scallop. And we got white ones, black ones, red ones like this. Beautiful, the scallop shells. So here's another one. This one's missing one of its little wings down at the base. Always, the slipper shells are everywhere on the beach. You can't walk through a pile of shells without stepping on a slipper shell. There's a slipper, another slipper shell. Come on, connection. I guess with this weather like this, the, the cellular connection's weak. There's the inside of a slipper. You can see why they call it a slipper. It's like the little shoe. What else did I see down here? Oh, an old whelk. That's just a piece of an old lightning. That's a worn, little worn out lightning whelk shell there. Boy, that connection's terrible right now. The rain's starting to kick in again. Little, old, little lightning whelk, an old lightning whelk. All right, our connection got a little stronger there. Looks like a little skinny worm shell down here. Look at that. A little skinny piece of a worm shell. That's a small one. Looks like a little noodle. <laughs> Another band of rain coming through here. Connection's dropping out again, darn it. Let's see if it reestablishes here as I pan around. Whatever you miss during my live feeds, I'll repost this video on YouTube. You can watch it in a little higher quality on YouTube a little later today. But we're having some issues with our connection because of the weather today, obviously. Thanks to Alberto out there in the Gulf of Mexico.
lots of cockles on the beach again. Lots of cockle shells. Here's a couple right here. A couple little cockles. tide is on its way in here so it's probably going to be a pretty extreme high tide with this weather the way this with these waves out here there's a nice scallop definitely keep that scallop probably going to be a pretty extreme high tide today it's coming in fast already I want to get a little further up the beach. Hopefully find something out there. Out here. Maybe a couple more moon shells or murex. Just never know. Before the waves come in and wash everything off the beach. Not using my stabilizer obviously so it's a bit bumpy here this morning I just didn't want to risk getting that wet just cannot keep a connection this morning it is constantly dropping out here heavy rain offshore there. Look how dark those clouds are. There's a, looks like a little lightning whelk. Oh, it's busted up, darn it. Part of a lightning whelk. I saw the back of it and I got all excited. Thought there was a nice little whelk down here. Just a piece of one. Little turkey wing shell down here. Our turkey wings. Remember earlier I showed you those like orangish red scallops? Here's part of a, a white scallop, an ivory colored scallop. There's old Roy. It's about the time he got out here. We're 
course, we don't have a very good connection, but again, we'll I'll put the repost of this on YouTube. You can watch it. Ooh, nice little lightning whelk down here. Beautiful. Nice little whelk. Great little shell. Hey, Rob, and a nice little moon, <laughs> nice little worm shell. I heard somebody's voice in the background here. Well, I, I, I saw your video yesterday when you, you said you hoped to see me here, but I wasn't here. You figured it was too wet for me. No way. Well, that was baloney. I was here early in the morning. And I had my big hours walk in the rain. Hour and, walk. And I had a prayer praying in the rain. Why did, and I went swimming in the rain. Swimming in the rain. Why'd you leave? <laughs> well, because it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to get wet at the beach. Yeah. You know, so I shoved on <laughs> off and then you came late in the morning. Yep. And said I wasn't here because it was too wet. <laughs> <laughs> you were all washed up. All washed up. <laughs> That's right. The swimming in the rain was really something. Yeah, it wasn't like it is today though. Now it's a little rougher out yeah, there this well, morning. Well, that was a problem to, to go swimming to avoid these. Oh, wait a second. I got to grab something before it washes away. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, look at that wiggle shell. A that's worm. A, that's a good one. Yep, a worm shell. Oh, hang on. That's a, wiggle. a long one. What'd you call it? A wiggle shell. Usually you don't see them that long. Nope, that's a good one. A nice worm shell. Hang on to that. Nope, I was wondering where you were this morning. I'm uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> when it's rainy like this, I don't hurry. Uh, why? I'll wait till the sun comes up. I th thought you'd be <laughs> here for sunrise. Well, I had some work to do in the office, and I figured, what the heck? Yeah. Wait till it gets a little. Hey, look, look a little brighter There's up there. A, a look, the sun is actually trying to show itself oh, right there. there. Hey, Just sunrise. for a second. Now it's gone. Oh, glorious! <laughs> I'll be able to take my plunge. You're gonna take a plunge in this? Well, if it if the sun comes out a little better, yeah. Where's your beach buddy? I thought she was coming out here. Well, I don't think so, but that was a problem yesterday. The wind was blowing pretty good down yeah. the beach, and I had to go way down there to avoid these sandbars. And so when I came back, there was no sun and a lot of wind on my cold height. Uh. That's why I decided to head back to the cold, to the hot it, shower. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's not that cold. The rain's not so bad. No, but it's when, when you get out there, it blows on you, and you've been in the water yeah. for a while. Well, I'm soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. That doesn't matter. The water is getting cooler with all that rain. Oh, yeah, it so drops. I was in for a while, and I it really dropped. got cooled down. That water temperature dropped three degrees. Oh, the hot shower felt pretty good. Right, so are you going to go for a walk, or what you going to do? Yeah, I'm heading down the beach. All right. I'll, I want to I get up here before the tide comes in and look for some shells, and then I'll good catch joke. back up with you. Oh, well, i got to get up there and talk to the great creator. There you go. He's out here, even in the rain. Oh, he's of course he is. He's, <laughs> he's always with us, no I doubt. i got his rain shirt on. <laughs> I'll catch up with you. Okay, Ron. Be safe. Good to see you. I was hoping I'd see you down here. It wasn't oh, too yeah. wet for you. No, <laughs> not too wet. A little rain doesn't scare me, as long as it's not thundering and lightning. Oh, I'm I like okay. That too. That's the thrilling part of it. You like the thunder and lightning? Oh, I love it. I love All it. All right. Well, I'll let you give me the reports on that. I don't want to get hit by lightning, but it, other than that, it's quite spectacular. It is. And it you is. see those streaks in the sky. When it's way out there in the water, the lightning and is can, pretty spectacular. You can figure by, by timing it, you know, you can figure how far away exactly. it is. Exactly. <laughs> That works out pretty good. Yep. We get some There's great lightning shows out there light, in the summer. Light steps along at 186,000 miles a second. And, uh, the it's sound, almost as fast the as you. sound only goes about 1,200 feet a second. So, well, I guess you're kind of in between the speed of sound and the speed of light somewhere. Halfway in between. Halfway between? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to check that out here as you walk up the beach. Okay. Where did he go? <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> George, it's getting it's, nice out. Well, it's going to get windy. I like we're, wind. We're going to get some wind. I like wind. Fortunately, we're not going to get a lot of rain, like bad all. rain from this thing. Look at the old sun. Hi, good morning. Yeah, sun. there he is oh, again. Isn't that great? There's the sun peeking out Love right up the there. Those clouds are oh, moving fast. Day in paradise. Where is everybody? I don't know. Actually, Every, some people came down yesterday, even in the rain. A bunch of chickens. I don't know where Scott and Linda are. <laughs> They must be chickens. Oh, they're from Michigan. That's right. They won't come out of here in the rain. Yeah, 
<laughs> oh, they're tough. They'll be out here. I don't know. If he sees me oh. picking up some good shells, he'll be yeah, out he here. Just went down. Yeah, it'll be popping in and out. Well, I'm gonna do some shelling. I'll, I'll catch up with you here. Okay, Rob. Well, I'm glad you made it. You oh, absolutely. Afraid. You go. I was afraid you wouldn't make it too wet for you. Not too wet for me. <laughs> I'm all washed up anyway. I'll let you get ahead of me. My <laughs> good friend Roy. So he made it. Yippee! I a. <laughs> well, back to shelling. We're just starting to find some neat little things here. I found a little whelk. I found a really cool moon shell when I was nice little moon uh, moon shell worm shell. Hey, looky here. There's two halves of a cockle. It's kind of beat up. Boy, that one's seen better days. But we do have a lot of live cockles just offshore of the beach here. Uh-oh, I think I saw a moon shell. Darn it, and the waves got it. Darn, darn, darn. I swore I just saw a shark eye down here in this wave. Darn it, pulled it somewhere. That's what happens. And this tide's coming in fast now with that storm out there. I'm going to try and keep a good eye to the ground here, a close eye, as I'm walking north here. Keep an eye on Roy, make sure he doesn't wash away on us. I don't know what the heck. Hmm. Well, the rain's let up again, once again. It's just coming through in bands. Remember, you can watch this video later. I'll post it on YouTube. Our signal, our cellular connection is just dropping in and out all morning this morning because of the weather. But hopefully I'll be able to save the video and repost it onto YouTube and then share the link. So be sure to check back periodically for the link I don't even I didn't even get a chance to put a description in this video because we lost our connection earlier this morning so there's actually two parts to this morning's live feed I'll stitch them together in YouTube oh part of a beautiful moon shell down here I know that was gonna that would have been a gorgeous one just by the colors of it right there just a broken one, just a piece. I feel that we're gonna get lucky this morning and find something neat, I don't know. Just a hunch. We already found something neat. We found Roy out here on the beach this morning. <laughs> That's always fun. There's two beautiful, beautiful fighting conks, just side by side. Two nice fighting conks, just side by side on the beach. I keep that smaller one. Fighting conks. Fairly common here. Actually, I'm not going to keep any of them. I don't have any room in my pockets this morning. I can only keep little small shells. But gosh darn it, here's another. Here's a beautiful conch. Look at that one. That is a. I got to keep this one. Ugh, that's a beautiful little fighting conch right there. I got to keep that one. That'll be one that, that'll go into one of the packages of shells that we sell. Guarantee it. You're also gonna get one of these worm shells, one of these worm tips. That'll be in the package. Five shells with one bonus shell of our choice. It'll be a conch, a worm tip. 
Oh, I don't know. I haven't decided what else yet. Tonk, a worm tip. Definitely a nice little scallop shell. Oh. Probably a slipper shell and an olive shell. We see a lot of those on our walks. So it'd be nice. You could have that in your hand while we're doing our beach walks. And when I pick it up, you can hold it in your hand and check it out. There's a little baby horse conch. That's a little tiny horse conch shell. Very nice little find. Very nice. Beautiful. Little horse conch. Very, very cool shell. These things get huge, the horse conchs. a look around here. The beach is really thinning out here now. That's her that's Alberto. I think he's still a tropical depression. But he is down there. Well probably more over there. Probably to the west southwest of us right now. The rain's just coming through in bands. Starting to sprinkle again. We're gonna get another band blow through there in a minute. Again, I apologize for the bouncy video, but I didn't want to use my electronic stabilizer out here. I didn't want to risk getting it wet and ruining it. The phone's supposed to be waterproof. So we're gonna put it to the test, the old iPhone 8. So far, it's working well. Another beautiful little fighting conch shell over here. Wow. That is a beauty there too. I guess I'm gonna have to keep that. Nice little fighting conch. I see our signal dropped out once again. All right, reestablished, the connection reestablished here. Roy is slowly making his way up the beach there ahead of me. Just him and I out here this morning. There's not much beach left up here. Be careful, Roy. Climbing up those dunes. Darn it, there's somebody else up there shelling. Wow, the beach is really washed away up here. Man. We have lost a lot of beach up at the north end. We're gonna have an awful high tide. Look at the beach up here. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Look how much beach we've lost. Bear with me, I'm gonna take a quick picture. All right, I'm back. Oh man, we have lost a lot of beach here. It's gonna get worse, unfortunately. Darn it, that's not good. We lost a lot of beach. Yep. We lost a lot of beach down here. Be careful, don't walk on the edge. That'll just collapse on you. Wow. Sadly, it's gonna get worse today. Man. Wow. Boy. The waves are pounding. Good morning. <laughs> I think I've got to get soaked here. These waves are pounding here. Holy mackerel. I gotta watch myself here. I gotta be careful. Very careful. Watch for a big swell to come in. And the wave just splashed over my head here. Absolutely amazing. 
incredible wave action up here. I'm gonna get up here a little further and turn around. Whoa, here comes a big one. Whoa. Oh, these waves are incredible up here. Listen to them. Sounds like thought. Oh gosh, here comes a huge one. Oh man. These are some big waves. Check them out here. Right in this area, some really big ones. This is big for the Gulf Coast. Or some big swells just pounding, just pounding the beach here. Comes another nice one. Wow. No shells along there, obviously. <laughs> no seashells. Somebody was up do doing some shelling. Left a bunch of shells on the bench. <laughs> wow. That surf was incredibly rough right here. This is area five at the north end of the park. Roy's taking the back, the back road. Wow. Let's watch these waves for a minute. Maybe we'll get some big swells coming in again. There was some huge waves. I mean, the splash from the wave went over my head. That was incredible. Almost knocked me on my butt. See, there's a sandbar out there, and that's what's causing this. You can see them, the waves start to form on that sandbar. And instead of dying, they're intensifying as they get closer in. Look at that. It's really starting to rain right now pretty, pretty well. Pretty hard. Yeah, you can see there's no beach. I'm not going to be going back this way. I'll be taking the, the inside path on my way back. The beach is gone there, unfortunately. I'm going to take a quick photo of that. Bear with me. Don't go anywhere. I'm back here. Hopefully we have a signal. Look at those waves. Roy, don't stand there. You're going to fall in. Roy is standing right on the edge. I don't... Oh, gosh, Roy. Be careful down there, Roy. Dang it, why did he do that? Why didn't you go up to the trail? Why don't you go back up onto the pathway, Roy? Don't walk, don't walk down here. You're gonna fall, that sand's getting ready to wash away. Roy. Give me your hand, come on. Well, you shouldn't have come over here. Shame on you. Get up on the pathway, come on. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's way too dangerous. Well, that didn't work out too well. No, that was crazy. I don't know why it did that. Oh, get up on that pathway. Get away from the edge here and get up on that pathway. Nobody wants to see you washing out into the gulf. Walk under the tree here. You can make it under the tree here. Just walk right up through here. No, go up the path a little further. You are stubborn. That's a 93-year-old stubborn 
man right there. He will not listen to anybody. He won't be happy until the waves come and wash him off the beach. Patch yeah, there. don't be walking back that I'll way. Go, I'll go around inside on that patch. We don't want you to be the old off. man in the sea. <laughs> these waves are there. really big right here for yeah, because of the, the sandbar offshore. These waves are huge right here. Oh, I love them. Boy, what a great day, isn't it? It's a wonderful day. Other than getting tangled in the weeds. I'm surprised everybody. there's nobody out here swimming. Yeah, how about that? Well, I think you better get up there and talk to the creator. Yeah. You owe him a thank you for getting you around knows. that corner yeah, there. I, well, I thank him for everything, <laughs> absolutely everything. Did you cut your foot? No, I guess it didn't cut. Okay. It, just, it kind of hurts a little bit. It All right. didn't cut, so it's good. Well, stay off this edge. This edge is dangerous. No, yeah, well, that was bad news. Though. All right. I'll catch up with you. I'm glad I was here. Yeah. No, they took it out there yesterday. But look at this edge here. The beach is just completely washed away here. Yeah, when I when I left, they pulled the barge offshore yesterday because of the storm. Yeah, it's anchored out there. But look, we have lost all our beach here. Still a little afternoon. Yep. Did you do all that time in the rain? Didn't rain. This is Area 5 Beach and it is pretty much gone right now. And the tide is just coming in. So what's going to happen? We're going to lose all this beach here, probably up to the dunes. Not good. Well, I'm gonna head a little further north. I don't know if it's clear, Roy. I don't know if it's good to walk around up to the north up here or not. Yeah, I can get around. I think those trees are sticking out into the water now. But I'm gonna walk ahead and I'm gonna keep an eye on you. He won't listen to anybody. He won't be happy till he breaks his neck out here. Ah! God's definitely watching over that old man. <laughs> Starting to rain pretty good now again. Just saw that big chunk of beach just drop right off in front of me here. all along the shoreline here at the north end of the park. I'm sure we'll see some more break off here if I just stand here for a minute. The beach is definitely taking a pounding. Ugh. So sad to see this, but this is, yep, that's how Mother Nature works. Now we're seeing the fury of Mother Nature. This beach is constantly changing shape and size because of weather like this. I don't know how much money they've been spending dredging Wiggins Pass out, but probably not the best timing. With this storm now, I'm sure it's going to screw all the dredging operations up. Screw the, the pass up, the channel in the pass again. Unbelievable. Hurricane season doesn't officially start until June 1st. Oh well. Technically, it's not a hurricane. It's the tropical depression. I believe it's still a tropical depression. Look how, look how high the tide has come up here. There's nothing. 
High tide isn't until noon today. I'm gonna turn around and see where Roy is, make sure he's not bobbing up and down in the gulf out there. He is one stubborn old cookie, that man. Hang on, I'll take a picture of this stubborn man walking up the beach. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. We're the only idiots out on the beach today. <laughs> you should have brought your noodle with you. I don't. I got it in the car. <laughs> you should have put it around your waist. Yeah, right. <laughs> I almost needed it back there. Crazy. I don't think we'll have too many fishermen either. You don't think there's going to be any fishermen up there? There weren't any yesterday either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to keep going. Fishing in the rain. Fishing in the rain. But the sand, you just hit really soft pockets of sand as you're walking along here. Well, Roy's having a good time. Whether he survives or not out here, that's one thing, but he's certainly having a good time. It's our shell tree. One of our shell trees. Huh? You think it's raining out there? But George, I think you're right, Roy. Got starting to clear. We got a little clearing down there to the south. That's nice. Hopefully the rain will subside. Although the winds are supposed to pick up. Interesting, we got a little tidal pool that's formed over here, up in Area 5. Never know what you're going to find in there. A lot of times you find some interesting little sea critters get caught in there and during the changing tides. A little cloudy though, because of the waves, hard to see down there. Boy, some great shells out here. Just walking on a bed of shells right now. Yeah, I think Roy Bear take the high road here. I think I am too. This does not look good up here to the north. Hey, if the signal drops out, stick with me here. I'll be back. We've been having some connection issues because of the weather, obviously. Man, there is just a pot, this is like a carpet of shells under my feet here. Can't see what it is with the waves. My lord. Low tide is probably going to be incredible for shelling. Scott and Linda, you guys definitely want to get out here at low tide today if it's not horrific weather. I think the early bird's going to catch the worm out here today, this afternoon. I'm going to come up on the beach, and I hope Roy does the darn same here. Let's see if he wises up here and takes the high road. Yep. Just watch him as he comes up this little ledge here. I'll just stay behind him. There's a nice little spot right there to go up. Right there, right where the tire tracks are. No, nope, me either. I'm walking around the back way. Of course, he goes where I tell him not to go. There's a nice little smooth spot right there, and he goes over here. What'd you find? Yeah, that was from the wedding. 
That's right, the wedding. Yeah, those petals, the flower petals from that wedding that was out here. Just pink petals over here. Yep. All right, I'm cutting through up here, going around. Can't get around these trees with these waves this morning. Well, it wouldn't be smart to try and do it anyway. Oh, this is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples on a rainy Sunday. Memorial weekend. Crazy. Don't forget to pay honor to all of the fallen soldiers who gave their lives for our freedom. This is their, tomorrow is their day. God bless them and their families. It's because of all those brave souls that I get to come out here and walk on this beach. Thank you for fighting for our freedom and making the ultimate sacrifice. God bless you all and God bless all of our veterans. Former, current, and future veterans. God bless all of you. Thank you. All right, there's a few shells here. Is there anything worth picking up? We got some couple nice shells earlier this morning. A lot of little old shell, little shells here, little old conch shell. Well, look how faded that one is. Wow. We've seen a lot. We've seen some nice conchs on the beach too this morning. Some nice fighting conchs. There's a nice little one right here. A little Florida fighting conch. Well, this is Wiggins Pass up here to the north. Part of the namesake of the park, Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Got a couple people out here checking things out. When you get weather like this, there's always some curiosity seekers. People like to come out and take pictures. Look how high the water is here at the pass. Wow. Amazing. There's actually another little tidal pool back here and a little sandbar here in front of me. Roy's still coming up behind me. God bless him. Still making his way up. Almost lost them there earlier. Huh. Goodness, you can see all the erosion that's happening here. Again, I apologize for the bumpy video, but I didn't want to bring my stabilizer out here and risk ruining it in this weather. There's actually a couple kids out here with some soccer balls. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Again, it's not lightning, so it's not dangerous to be out here. Swimming is, would definitely be foolish. Definitely be foolish to go swimming. This guy's telling these kids to go out in the water. Huh. Some people. So if there's any neat.
eight shells up here. Not many shells. Pretty strip clean up here of any shells on the beach. Lost a lot of beach up here. A lot of beach is gone. You may remember where those the keep out signs were. They were way up on the beach at Wiggins Pass. Where they are now, they're out in the water. Look at those clouds. You see the dredging barges? Man. I'm going to take a photo. Bear with me here. Hopefully I don't lose my signal. Well, I'm back. I don't know if I lost. I still have the connection. Okay. We have lost a lot of beach here up at the pass. I know we have a bad connection. There's our connections back here. This is looking up the Coquihatchee. Look at those storm clouds. You can see the dredging barges anchored there. No dredging today. This guy is a dope out here with telling these two kids to get in the water. One, you're not supposed to be in the water swimming here. He's some kind of soccer coach or something. <laughs> Tell him to jump over the waves. There's our buddy again. You you made it. Hey, you made it. The BFW yeah, I'll probably go up there. Yeah, that'll be fun. What time is it? Around one o'clock or Probably something? around 1.30. 1.30, yeah. Yep. I'll be there. I invited Jenny to come with me. So of course you did. <laughs> we'll have a good time dancing it up. And they got their own pop band. A little... Well, they got, yeah, I don't know what. They got some music. Who knows what all's going on up there. It'll be interesting. That'll be fun. See you there around 1.30. Yeah, yep. Some barbecued chicken. and Can't beat that. Yep, that's what's on the menu. And I guess as a veteran, I get a free meal, huh? You get a free beer. Oh, just a beer, not the meal. Yeah, you get a free bottle of poison. I don't drink. <laughs> I, I thought I got a free meal. You probably get a free meal. <laughs> you're, you're probably the... The youngest guy there, so you'll get a free meal tomorrow. I don't know about that. I, I think that. so. I think Greg, the commander, will get you a free meal. I'm sure. <laughs> well, I don't need that. I just thought it was a meal, meal but I guess it's a beer. And <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't do me much. Well, maybe good. they'll swap you a meal for a beer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> no, yeah, that'll be fun. Yep. Yeah. Right up by the dog track. You remember how to get there, right? Yeah, you turn it on K9, don't yep, you? Yeah, K9 Drive. But then you turn left on something. Yep. On K, well, you go to the end. The end of K9. You go in on Racetrack Road or whatever. Racetrack Road. There's signs actually from Benita. There's a couple little signs. You won't miss it. Yeah, you turn right on Racetrack. Yeah, like you're going to the dog track, except Race you go track. just past the entrance to the dog track. And then you go left. And you on, go left at the first street and all the way down to the end. Yeah, I know. That, but that street, what is the name of that? K9. Oh, that's K9. That's K9, the one that... The, yeah, I got you. The one that you turn off Bonita's. I think that's race Racetrack track or something. Racetrack and then yeah. K9. I got it. Yeah. Okay. No, that'd be good. I'm going to catch... Hopefully, I'll still see you down the beach here. You got to say your, say your prayers here? Oh, yeah. Be careful. You don't wash out there. Yeah, I got to ease on down. He's on down. Oh, yeah. about this weather? Look at there. Now, now it's blowing away. It yeah, we got some pretty dark clouds though out there. Oh, all right. Kind of come and go all day, I think. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Yeah. Are you gonna come come back the back way? Don't try walking out well, in the those water. areas there. I'm gonna draw. That was around. terrible up there. Here there's no fishermen, but a lot, a lot of people and kids playing. <laughs> yeah. That's supposed to be playing in the water up here, especially yeah. a day like today. Well, there's a drop off the edge. There's a, yep, and there's a very strong current. They don't realize there's a big drop off maybe right offshore. Maybe they're swimmers. Uh, I don't know. They shouldn't be swimming out here. I've, Hopefully heard, one I've of the, heard of people swimming here, though. Yeah, I heard of some crazy old man 
swam across the channel here one day. Oh, almost I, drowned. I, I used to do it quite a bit, but. <laughs> well, the good Lord there. is watching over you, that's for oh, sure. Oh, sure is. <laughs> All my life, I'm very grateful for it. Yep, you're a lucky soul. <laughs> I'm going to ease it off a little now, just not quite so many wild You're things. not in such a hurry to meet him, are you, anymore? <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind talking to him, but you don't want to shake his hand yeah. yet. I'll get there eventually, hopefully. Yeah. No guarantee about that. i got to behave myself. Yeah, so you do have to behave up there yourself. Join Audrey and the other rest of the good friends. There you go. Up there. Get to see our parents. Get to see your brother. Wouldn't that be something? Yep. My brother, by George, and Audrey, and all my old friends. Yeah. Mom and Dad, Grandpa, Grandma, they're up there all having a jamboree. A jamboree. <laughs> I don't know what you do in heaven, do you? Whatever you want. Do you read Time Magazine or I think what? whatever your favorite thing to do on earth was, you get to do in heaven full time. Well, we could dance up, dance up a storm. Yeah, but keep, be careful what you say here, Roy. <laughs> well, no, I was just thinking Audrey and I He's used singing to dance, and dance together quite a bit. Yep. I'd like to dance with her in heaven again. That'd be great. Yeah. Well, you will be. You will be. That's for yeah. sure. Well, go say your prayers, and I'll yeah, try. I'll try know. to wait. I'll try to wait down there for you. You know, when you have those positive spiritual positive. thoughts, yep. it makes uh, the thought of leaving this life not not so uh, uh, oh, uh, scary. Yeah. Yeah. Not not so undesirable. Uh, yeah. It's, it's always better. It's better on the other side. Well, at least hopefully it's just as, just as good. As long as you go to the right side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm going to go back down. Looking show. forward to the pearly gates. There you go. Well, I'm gonna go to, you might almost saw him this morning walking out here on the beach. <laughs> Be careful walking back. Oh, my. I'll try to hang out and wait for you down there. St. Peter here. He's here in, he comes. He's at the pearly gates. Yep. We'll go. We got to bring our credentials. There you go. Dossier. Our dossier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to walk back down the beach and show everybody what's happening. Looks like the rain's clearing up, though. The rain is, looks like it's moving on. That's a great thing. Now it's just going to be breezy and some serious wave action. If you're just joining, just a little south of me here, we've got some pretty good sized waves pounding on the beach and actually washing it away. Roy almost took a swim in there this morning and not on purpose. I'm gonna walk back down, show you what's happening to our beautiful beach as it's washing away once again. You can see, look at all the beach we've lost here. lost a lot of beach. Pelican up drying his wings up on the beach up there. Maybe I'll get to walk by him. Hopefully he didn't get a broken wing. We have lost a lot of sand here at the pass. A lot of beach at Wiggins Pass. Our connection is really, really, really bad. Again, I will repost this video in a higher quality on YouTube and share the link on Facebook. So be sure to wait, check that, check, you know, check back for that. Hang on. All right, I'm back. I know it's a, again a terrible connection. Nothing I can do about that, especially with this weather. I'm sure that's playing a big factor in the, our cellular connection. Big brown pelican sitting up on the beach. Hope he's okay. Hope he's just drying out his wings. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. Let everybody take a look at you. Yeah, it looks like he's just drying his wings out. That's one of our locals, the brown pelican. If I can get a little tighter on his face there. There he is. 
Brown Pelican. I'll take a quick photo of this guy while he's right here close to me. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. He's, he's a little leery of me. I'll give him his space. <laughs> They're pretty big when you get up close to them, those brown pelicans. They sure do make a mess out of boat docks. I think the rain has let up for a little while, fortunately. Hallelujah. Sorry about the wind noise. Can't control mother nature. I've seen a lot of nice fighting conch shells this morning. A lot of nice little fighting conchs. Beautiful conchs. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of nice shells washed up on the beach from these waves. Low tide's probably going to be a great time to come out here and do some shelling. I'm going to wash the sand off this little guy and stick him in my pocket. Nice little fighting conch shell. That will probably go into one of the little packages of shells that we are going to be selling online. I'm going to have to take the high road. I'm going to have to take the path up here. I don't want to walk. I don't want to get knocked into these trees here with these waves. I'm gonna go up, up and just take the path. Some big waves right up here at the north end of the park. take a photo too of the beach we've lost a lot of beach up here I want to take another photo looking north from over here get a couple pieces of the fallen trees down here in the picture just bear with me here Let me snap off a quick photo I'll be right back all right I'm back sorry about that you can only do one thing at a time photos or video see how much beach has been washed away up here. We're going to have a super high tide. It's still not high tide yet here. Crazy. Be careful if you come out here walking the beach. These waves can pull you under. Use some common sense out here. I felt the fury of a couple of those waves earlier. I mean, they were actually splashing over my head along the shoreline. I'm just going to take the back way around here. Let's see how high the tide is. Normally this is all beach out here when we're walking in the morning. Not this morning.
This is where the waves are really bad, right in this area. Really, really strong. Hope it doesn't wash our shell tree away. Got some sunshine actually peeking out right now. Beautiful. Got some beautiful sun. You still see the rain offshore. This bad weather passes by and doesn't put a damper on everyone's Memorial Day plans. Rougher than normal, huh? Wow. Hey, quick reminder. Nobody pays me to come out and do this. I enjoy doing it. I love sharing Southwest Florida with our friends here on Facebook, but you can always use a little extra money to help with the phone bill, to keep the phone running, and car, truck insurance, and whatnot. So if you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. A little later, you can find my PayPal account in the description of this post. And every little bit helps. And those of you that have sent a little something, thank you so much. Waiting for Roy to start heading back down here. I was hoping to chat with him this morning. Ooh, that cockle shell that I put up in the tree yesterday is still here. See it up here? There's the cockle shell from yesterday. That's the shell that I hung yesterday. People hang shells in the trees here along the beach for several different reasons. Some people will hang a shell just as a decoration or as a little memento of their visit to the beach and they'll take a picture of it. Other people hang a shell and say a prayer or make a wish. But the most common reason people hang shells in the trees along the beach is they hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So keep that in mind when you see those trees covered with shells. No beach here. The beach is pretty much washed away up here in Area 5. Crazy. Wind is starting to kick in now, blowing right in my face. Later on, the wind's going to shift to 
to an onshore breeze, wind, and the waves are really going to kick up. Definitely going to take their toll on the beach. I'm going to show you something over here. Hopefully I won't get drowned here with these waves. Some of them get pretty large right here. Whoa, big hole. I just went down to my knee. The sand was so soft. Earlier this morning, Roy insisted I'm walking along this edge here. He almost, he almost got stuck, but where he was standing is gone right now. He, that sand has already washed in about another two feet since Roy and I walked out here, what, 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago? You can see it just crumbling. Terrible. Nowhere to walk here. You definitely have to go up along the path. Look at that. Wow. Some huge waves hitting this. It's destroying the beach right now. Hang on, I might take a little photo. These waves. There's some big swells coming in here. Huge swells. They subside and they pick up again. There's a couple building offshore now getting ready to come in. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to shoot a little video. Stand by. All right, I'm back again lost my signal while I was shooting a little video earlier. Again, I'll stitch all of these videos together on YouTube, make one video. And I'm just off the beach. We couldn't get down because of the erosion and the waves. I'm gonna show you. Earlier this morning, you see these posts over here. Earlier this morning when Roy and I first came down here. Oh, the beach still went out probably five feet past these posts. Look at it now. We're down to maybe a couple feet tops. We have lost There's a, a lot of beach. Look. There's a piece of beach getting ready to drop off right there. Oh, I thought that wave was going to knock it off. Getting ready to fall off any second there. We are losing a lot of beach. Yep, that's just holding on. <laughs> Don't fall off any second though, probably. The cracks are slowly getting bigger. That is something. We have lost so much beach up here in Area 5. Oh yeah, look, it's all, look at this whole, there's a big, big crack, there's a crack, yeah, there's a big crack starting to form here, big chunks going to drop off here any second. <laughs> it's like watching grass grow. As soon as I move the camera, that's going to fall off. You can see this crack here is getting wider. Ah. 
it is, the waves, they just come in big swells and then little ones come in and we get a bunch of big ones. I'll post some video of these waves a little later. It's pretty impressive. You definitely don't want to walk along the edge here. The beach is just giving way, give way under your feet. I don't know if that's going to fall off or not. <laughs> Eventually it's going to drop off. I mean, it's been dropping off all along here. There's a big piece getting ready to fall off down here by Roy. Look at that. Look at all of that beach that has been washed away. Sad. Yeah. Oh boy. That was a big wave. Oh, there's somebody's boogie board washing up. Yeah. <laughs> Some kid lost their boogie board. Okay. That'll make its way up to Wiggins Pass. There it goes. Oop, just fell down. I <laughs> figure as soon as I turn the camera away. Oh well. Well, it's been a great walk, huh, Roy? Yeah, it's been wonderful. <laughs> of course. Got a shower this morning? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's beautiful. Look at the rain out over the sea. Isn't that something? Over there, there, down there. Boy. Looks like the rain's heading out though, finally. Yeah, out over the sea more. Yep, starting to break up. Yeah, now it's we're just getting sunshine here. Again. Yeah, now it's just gonna be some wind as the day progresses. Maybe it'll maybe it'll blow away by tomorrow and we'll have a nice holiday. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so did you say your prayers up there? Oh, did I ever. <laughs> <laughs> I got so much to be thankful for. There you go. <laughs> Boy, it takes me a while to include all the thankfulness. I just couldn't so I couldn't just say say enough thanks for everything. There you go. Everything's so fantastic. <laughs> it so, definitely is fun so being out blessed, here. We? It is something being out here on a day like today, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, those waves. Yeah, be careful. I don't want you falling off the edge here. Hey, that big crack yeah, that crack over here is getting bigger. Long. Yep, we are. Let's see how fast the beach is just crumbling here. This is area five. Look at that. There is nowhere to sit here. It is almost back to these posts. mosey on down what are you gonna do you gonna head home well I'll stick around if it's gonna be raining I'm gonna stick around you're gonna stick around yeah I love well, it down here watch out you might be in the water here before you know it <laughs> doesn't yeah. take much to knock that sand down I was gonna wait to see if one those big ones go down so you got any words of wisdom for people that when they come out to the beach on a day like today <laughs> I'll just enjoy the glory of it enjoy the glory yeah it is so unbelievably glorious, boy. The it wind is. and the rain and the big, the big waves breaking. And the power of Mother Nature. Clouds, black clouds hanging over the Ooh. horizon. Boy, Look at this, Roy. This one looks like it's going to go. There's another chunk of beach getting ready to fall off there. You can see it. Look at that. There it goes. Oh, another little piece hanging on the edge there. Wow. This is terrible. Terrible. I'm going to go down the beach. And, is it going? Yep, another, another piece of beach washing away. I'm gonna go down the beach and give everybody a look back up here. I'm gonna go down there and get back on the beach, go a little I'll south, all right, Roy? All right, I'm just gonna go down there. I gotta go the back way here. It's not real safe and real wise idea to walk along the shore right there with those waves. They can knock you down pretty easy. They're pretty powerful, these waves. They, 
people underestimate the power of the ocean. They almost knocked me down earlier this morning. So there's three live feeds so far this morning. Keep losing my signal. I'm gonna stitch all three videos together and put them on YouTube later this, today. So check back for the link for that. You can see there's where I was standing with Roy right up there earlier, a few minutes ago. Get back, get out on the beach down here. As soon as I, as soon as I get the uh, lip isn't so high here and give you a look back. And what's going on? It's so sad to see our beach getting washed away like this. There we go. Those are some good sized waves, probably four foot at least. There's a look back at the erosion. I've got a good video of that I'm going to post for the waves pounding the surf later. Keeping our fingers crossed that this storm does not blow in that red tide that's way out in the Gulf. This is Alberto that's causing this. Had some pretty good rain earlier today, yesterday and the day before. And earlier today we had some nice rain, but it looks like it's starting to thin out finally. There were some pretty good bands that came through earlier this morning. Found a couple nice shells this morning. Now they've all been washed back into the Gulf because of these waves. It's still not high tide yet. We're gonna have a extreme high tide here, obviously, today. I don't think any, it'd be a smart idea to go swimming today. I'm sure there's going to be some rip tides, some rip currents out here. It sure is exhilarating coming out here on a morning like this. Definitely gets the blood pumping. Starting to settle down a little bit. I'm getting a battery warning here, a low battery warning. I'm gonna have to sign off here. Again, a quick reminder. Nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I love doing it, but if you wanna make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. A little later, you'll find my PayPal account information in the description of this post. Remember, there's three videos today, three beach walk videos. We lost our connection a couple times, so we had to restart. It was exciting. There were some exciting moments during this morning's beach walk, especially with Roy being stubborn, trying to walk along that edge up there that was just washing away into the gulf. <laughs> Thought I was going to lose him there for a minute. Whoa. There's air pockets here in the sand along the beach, and you'll be walking along, and you'll just sink up to your knee. You'll go one leg will go down to your you know knee deep in the sand. You've got to be really, really careful walking along the beach if you come out here. But 
you never know, there might be some really cool shells washed up on the beach later today from these waves. Low tide might be really interesting. Well, thanks for joining me on this wet, rainy Sunday morning. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time checking out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something interesting, something you like. When you do, please hit the share and like button. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Have a wonderful Sunday. For all you folks in Alabama, we're praying for you. We hope this storm falls apart before it reaches you. We've got enough rain up there all along the Gulf Coast, the Panhandle area. Don't forget, say a prayer in honor of our all of those soldiers that died protecting our freedoms. That's what this holiday is all about. God bless all of those brave men and women that died for our freedom. God bless them and their families. God bless all of our current military personnel, military members, all those wonderful men and women. Past, present, and future. God bless you all. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.